Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to track your expenses. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shadavia and this is Oshi Budgets where we talk about all things money, budgeting, and savings related. On my channel, you will see things like budget with me's, showing my real numbers. I do cash stuffings, savings challenges, and also give you guys debt updates on my personal financial journey. So if that's content you're into, do me a favor and make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Once again, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to track your expenses and also give you guys an example using my own expenses for this week as well. So if you notice that your budget isn't working for you, then tracking your expenses is, in my opinion, is one way that you can kind of tune in your budget and kind of get in control of your finances. Now, my best advice is when you're tracking your expenses, it's hard to keep up with money that's coming from everywhere. So you want to make sure that you're narrowing down your accounts to either one or two accounts. Um, if you do have a habit of spending a lot of money or spending often, then one of the things that you may want to consider is tracking your expenses on a daily basis opposed to maybe on a weekly basis or a monthly basis. Now, if you do spend a lot, another thing you can do is just keep up with your receipts as well. And if you are keeping up with your receipts, then Fetch is actually a really good app for you to scan your receipts and get cash back for it or get points back for it that you can redeem for gift cards. A lot of times Fetch has actually helped me in my own personal budget. If you go back to some of my budget with me, then you'll see that I was able to redeem uh, points with Fetch for my household budget. I've redeemed points for lunch sometimes. So it's a really good app. Like I said, all you do is scan your everyday receipts. And if you're gonna be tracking your expenses, scanning those receipts is gonna be more beneficial to you at, uh, as well. So I'll have my link, um, my referral code linked in the description box below as well. But again, making sure you're keeping up with those receipts if you are you know, spending um, quite often and not tracking it daily. Again, but if it is something that you want to track daily, I highly advise you to do so. Um, that way you don't have to look around once again or look everywhere where you're actually uh, spending your, your money. So another thing to do when you're tracking your expenses is make sure you're actually categorizing your expenses as well. So I have several different categories um <clears throat> that i track so on this tracker you'll see that i have a category for food i have debt my bills household and unbudgeted because we know it happens so i kind of wrote down just here just some of the categories that i actually noticed that i spend money on your categories could look different just based off of what you spend your money on um but tracking your expenses it does help with a lot of uh, self-reflection so being able to just track those expenses, use a highlighter to color coordinate those categories will really help you kind of shed light on your finances and see where you need to cut back or, you know, where you're doing absolutely well. in. so um, just keep that in mind as well. Like tracking your expenses is not a bad thing. Um, it's not something that you need to do, but it is something that is good to do because if you're trying to figure out, you know, why your expenses is so high then that'll be able to be revealed in your tracking um but also if your expenses is also eating up your income then you'll be able to see like where you need to cut back or in addition to that just earn extra income so some ways you can earn extra income doing uber eats um doordash what i mean there's a multitude of ways to earn side hustle um income so if your expenses is taking up a lot of that income, then that may be something that you need to consider as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get straight into my expenses for this week. So I actually started tracking. Um, I decided that I was going to track my expenses starting from Sunday, which was November the 20th. Yeah. So November the 20th. Um, so I'm going to write down my expenses and kind of talk through my week with you guys um, as well. 
I normally don't track my expenses, but it is something that I want to start doing more of just so I can make sure that I'm keeping track of everything. I don't have an expense tracker in my everyday variable expense binder, but I do have it in my sinking funds. So I think keeping up with my expense tracker will also help me look to see if my budget is working for me or if there's any adjustments that I need to make as well. So um, starting on Sunday, the 20th, I actually did a no spend. So I didn't spend any money whatsoever. But on Monday, I did have a few trips to Walmart. So Monday was the 21st. So let me do this. 11, 21. And I spent 1121 and I did not pull anything out of an account. So I'm just going to put cash here. And then the transaction, we're just going to put Walmart. And you guys, I um, before I get further into this tracking, so I actually printed this off for free off of the Budget Mom website. I just typed, literally Googled um, expense tracker and this one came up and then I just printed it off my computer. So it was completely free um, to print this and I thought it was a good way. It has a lot of information on here. So you see the date, the account that it came from, the transaction, what category that we talked about previously and withdrawal deposit, ending balance, etc. Um, so again, on Monday, I had, like I said, a few, I'm going to just write Walmart three times because I did split it into three different transactions because I pulled it out of three separate binders. I used cash for every single one of them because these are my variable expenses. So let's do Walmart and Walmart. Alrighty. So the first um, category that I spent at Walmart was on food. And I spent um, a total of 50, I spent a total of $54.84. And that was actually on our weekly grocery budget um, for the week. So I, what I did is I actually took out a total of $55 from my grocery envelope. And then since my budget is $100, I have $45 left in that envelope. The next one is um, also food. So I got our food items um, that we were responsible for for Thanksgiving. And that actually ended up being $54.29. Now that also came from my, that came from my sinking funds because if you've been following my channel for a while, then you know that I did a savings challenge for um, Thanksgiving and I was anticipating on um, making the entire Thanksgiving dinner but I didn't have to do that so I only had to make sides um, so I took I had already set money aside for that so I just took it out of my uh, holiday sinkings fund and then the last one that I had at Walmart um, it was household items so I'm put household here for the category and then I spent a total of $7.71. Um, and that's going to be blue. And then again, I just took the $7 from my household envelope. So everything is so good with my budget because I had put money aside already to take care of these items. Now on the 22nd of November, I did have... Um, I'm just going to put check in here. So I had a debt payment um, that I made. So I'm going to just put debt. And that was in a total of, oh, I guess I could put debt here too. Um, that was a total of $64. Now I made that from my paycheck, um, but I think it just took a few days to actually come out of my account. So that debt payment was on there. I'm not going to fill in any of these balances here. So I'm just going to omit um, updating that information. But that was debt. So let's go ahead and highlight that orange. And then also on the 22nd, I had my light bill come out of my account. So check in once again. And I like to keep my bills into my account. That way I don't have to go back to the bank to deposit the cash for that. 
So I'm just gonna put lights here and uh, bills. And that was a total of $240.37. And if you watch my budget with me, then you know that's how much my light bill was. Um, but with this bill, I do split it in half. So I save half of it on my first paycheck and the other half on my second paycheck since I'm paid bi-weekly. Um, but again, no unbudgeted expenses as of yet. Now, the day before Thanksgiving, which was 11-23, and I think that was Wednesday. Was that Wednesday? Oh, not, I did that wrong. Okay, so this came from my check-in account. And I'm just gonna put family here. I guess um, someone asked me to borrow some funds. So this was unbudgeted for, cause I don't have, I have a support um, binder, but it didn't have what they asked me for in it. So that was $20 um, that was unbudgeted. And it did actually ended up coming out of my buffer, which I have left in my um, checking account. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm not sure how much it's gonna be left in that but uh in that buffer, but that's where that came from. It was still unbudgeted. So again, I have a support envelope which I do like to put money aside to support those in need. And sometimes that could be family, friends, other businesses, other YouTubers, etc. So I have a new envelope for that. Um, so this just made you know, just I guess made me realize that I need to just Make sure I have at least like 20, maybe $30 in there uh, would be a good amount if I'm gonna be helping people out. Um, so then I had one of last expense for this week, which actually came out today. And so that's the 25th and I'm gonna put checking. And then um, term and next, Nick, yeah. So this was definitely unbudgeted for as well. And this actually increased because it used to be around $96. Um, but this time it was actually $114.75. So I don't know if that has to do with inflation or if the price of that service just now has increased. Um, but every three months we have um, pest control come out to spray the exterior of our home um and the thing that i didn't like about it is that they didn't give me any type of heads up or anything so i didn't put money aside because this is something that i forget since it does come out every three months um so it's something that i forget about but they did end up coming they actually gave me like less than an hour notice which is to me unacceptable and um i'll discuss that with them <laughs> at another time but um yeah so it did come out and again it came out of my buffer and so i'm not sure i'm waiting for everything to clear out uh like all of the bills the pending uh transactions that i had on there to see how much i have left over in my buffer but i think that is something that i'm gonna need to kind of revamp up since i did have those unbudgeted expenses but that is it for today's video again this is my spending for this week um in november let me know in the comments if you guys track your expenses as well and if you track it via paper or if you're using some type of app as well also let me know if there's any money topics that you would love for me to talk about if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider doing so and i'll see you guys in my next upload in let's see what's today friday Saturday, Sunday, on Sunday. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>